I'm Betty Rocker. Are you ready for today's full body, high intensity interval training workout? I can't wait to do it with you. It's gonna be amazing. We are going to strengthen and sculpt our entire body and get some bonus fat burning in both during and after our workout. That's the beauty of these high intensity interval workouts. I want you to give it all you've got during this workout, okay? We're gonna be doing a super high intensity move followed by a slightly slower but still intense strengthening movement for your body. I'm gonna walk you through every single move as we go, give you modifications, and I want you to work at your own pace, at your own level. Remember, if I'm showing you something that you're not quite ready for, work your way up to it. That is how we get stronger. Sometimes it really helps to see someone doing a move that we want to be able to do, because when you can see it, you know that you can get there, okay? So don't get discouraged ever just because you're starting where you're at. Remember to build that strength up and motivate yourself and work towards your goals. I am so excited to jump right into this workout. The very first move is absolutely insane. I sort of invented it, it's a little complex move. Let me show it to you, break it down, and show you a slight modification. It's the most complex movement of this circuit. So what it looks like, it looks like this. So we're gonna jump out, we're gonna jump in, we're gonna do a tuck jump, and then we're gonna do a cross, cross. Okay, let's do that again fast. Jump out, jump in, drive up the knees, cross, cross. Now the lower impact version of this, which is also awesome, you're gonna step out, squat, step in, squat. You're gonna do knee drive, knee drive, and then knee cross, knee cross. And that's for those of you who need to take some of the impact out. You can still do that with a lot of intensity, okay? It's gonna work great either way. So we're gonna do about 10 of those. Then we're gonna come into what's called the around the body lunge. Now what's important about the around the body lunge is not how much weight you use, which is totally optional. You can grab a couple of light dumbbells or a couple water bottles, wine bottles, whatever you happen to have around your house. And an around the body lunge is exactly like it sounds. Around the world lunge, around the body lunge. You're gonna lunge forward with your right leg. Then we're gonna do a side lunge with the right leg. Reverse lunge with the right. And then we're gonna just pick right up where we left off with the left leg. So we're gonna step it back, step it out to the side, and step it forward. Now, real easy to add weights to that, just hold them at your sides or up on your shoulders. You can also hold on to the back of a chair or the wall for support as you do these lunges. Couple important cues that you'll need while you're doing them, I'll give them to you as we go. Really, it's just about keeping your chest up and keeping your knee lined up over the toe that you're lunging on. Really just working with the weight balance and using your core at all times. Uh, next move is a warrior burpee. <laughs> this is so crazy. I invented this for one of my challenges and it's so fun. Um, you'll like it because there's actually no push up in it. Instead, you're gonna drop it down, you're gonna shoot your legs back, you're gonna do a cross body mountain climber, you're gonna jump your feet back to your hands, and then you're gonna come up and kick like you were marching. <laughs> Super fun, maybe I should have called it a soldier burpee, but in any case, you're getting a ton of core, full body, nice booty workout. Great way to do a little modification for this one is as you come down, you can step your feet back and you can either weave in or take out the cross body mountain climber. Maybe you wanna hold plank or hold a kneeling plank, that would be great. And when you come back up, you can step and you could do knee drives instead of the high kicks, okay? Uh, fourth move is a combo move for your triceps and your core. So you're gonna sit it down onto your mat. You're gonna put your hands behind you. You're gonna lift up into a reverse tabletop. Now, if you have a tough time being on your wrists, it's great to have some light dumbbells that you could actually hold on to to help align and keep your wrists straight. Now, in either case, I'm gonna move mine out of the way uh, for this demonstration. You can do it on soft fists, too. You're gonna drop down and press up. Try to hold a nice, strong tabletop throughout the movement, okay? The elbows are gonna come behind you in parallel. We'll do about five, then we're gonna do what's called an in and out, which is just driving the feet out and away from you as you press forward and back with the hands. If you're advanced, you can do this with no hands. Super awesome either way. Great move to really strengthen and sculpt stomach muscles. Next move is called a Heisman. Uh, this comes from the amazing Sean T. Uh, this is what you're gonna do with the Heisman. You're gonna be driving your knees up to either side, 
super fast. Like you're running, like you're doing high knees, but you're actually running out to the side. It's a great idea if you're watching this intro to try these with me as a warm up. It really will get your body moving. And you'll be visualizing yourself doing the workout and being super successful at it too at the same time. Double bonus. So, Heismans, you can either do them at a slower pace, just driving your knees out into the side to feel a nice bonus uh, oblique burn here, plus you're getting the cardio burn. Um, and of course, legs and booty. Um, this is the fast version. Go ahead and try a couple out. Just side to side with those knees. Awesome, we'll be going super fast. And the final move of this circuit, while you're catching your breath after your Heismans, you're gonna come down and do a move that's for your shoulders and your core. It's called the walking plank. You may have heard of this one. Now I'm gonna demonstrate it first for you up on my toes. So I'm gonna start on my toes, core engaged. I'm gonna come down and then I'm gonna press back up, making sure that both my elbows and my hands stay directly underneath my shoulders each time. This also works great for the kneeling position. Absolutely awesome, okay? So now you've learned all the moves. Ready? Let's rock this circuit out together, all right? Bring yourself right down, 
onto the mat, get in position for tabletop, sneak in a quick sip of water. Mm. Oh, heck yeah. We are burning now. Okay, get those shoulders behind you, hands behind you, beneath your shoulders, open your chest, lift up into reverse tabletop, and begin. One, two, elbows are going straight back behind you, parallel. Last one, five, sit it down, and in and out. So we're gonna do five. Remember you can have your hands down. Come back up to tabletop, and do five, four, three, two, last one. Great job, come on down, five more in and outs. One, two, three, four, and five, and one final sequence, okay? Come on up, one, two, three, four, keep that chest open, and five, and in and out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're not breathing as hard as you were with the burpee, so it's time to get our heart rates back up. We're gonna burn. Let's burn, okay? We're gonna do high knees together. So, knees are gonna drive up and out to the side. I see my feet are already excited, even though my brain is like, whoa, I'm gonna rock her. What are we doing for? Come on, do these with me. Let's go. Come on, one, two, three. Keep it up. Five. 
Grab your weights if you're using them. <sighs> yes, I know your heart is racing. You have the power to pause the video too. At any time, if you need more rest. <sighs> Let's let our heart rate come down as we do a nice slow sequence of around the body lunges. Just do it. You can do it. Come on. Step. 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 You're looking good. That was one complete circle. Starting on two. Awesome job. Keep it up. One more circle. Last leg. Come on. Let your heart rate come down naturally. You got this. And that was it. All right, let's put our weights down. Or water bottles. Whatever you're using for resistance. And it's time to get the heart rate back up again. With 10 warrior burpees. All right? All right, let's burn it. I need you, come on, do this with me. Let's go, drop it down. And kick, kick, and cross body. And kick, kick, yeah. This is three. Use your breath. Total burn for your entire body. It's an amazing full body movement. Come on, there's five. Oh yeah. Oh, six. Woo. If at any time in the workout I count wrong, I'm sorry. Sometimes I lose count because I'm working out and counting. But it's on you if you know you missed one. Do an extra. You're awesome. I know I can count on you. Good. Okay, come on, two more. Maybe it's three. Let's do three to be sure. Come on. Last one. Yeah. And that was awesome. Woo. All right. Come on down. Sit down. I don't feel like you're resting, but we're not. Okay.
and there's two. You can alternate arms or hands each time. If you want, sometimes I forget. Just bring it back. Come on, here's four. This is our halfway point. Five. And six. Oh, come on, just four more. Seven. You got this. You're a rock star. Don't give up now. Last two. And oh, last one. Yes. Go ahead and press it back for a nice downward facing dog. Let your heels sink down towards the floor. Feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Oh, release your back. Really nice work. If you'd like a further release, you can come down, put your knees out on either side of your hands and just fold forward into child's pose. This should feel awesome. It'll release your back. It'll feel just wonderful. You can also take a couple additional stretches. You can stretch out your hamstrings a little bit. And uh, if you want to do a couple more rounds of this workout, please feel free. Uh, that was super effective and fast, uh, what we just did together. So um, if that's all you had time for, you did awesome. And I will add the timestamp in the post if you want to jump back to round one and do that with me all over again. You are welcome to. I'd love to see you in class. I have a live online workout class every single week with hundreds of amazing members from all over the world and all over the country uh, who meet every single week for live workout classes that we do from my home and from all of their homes. I can see you working out. It's so awesome. Uh, feel free to check that out and check out my awesome workout programs that you can do at home or in the gym. It's thebettyrocker.com backslash programs. Got meal plans, workout plans, and all kinds of awesomeness just for you. Please be sure to use all of the free resources here on the BettyRocker.com blog, and I will see you again next time for our next workout. I'm Betty Rocker, and you are so awesome. Be sure to leave me your comments down below.